What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Yes, folks, we are back. We're going to rock this one. This is the second part of uh, Evidence of a Whole City on Mars. Now, you folks remember that. It's been done a couple months ago. But just absolutely amazing. To me, it screams intelligently made. It's probably the best evidence so far of a whole area, not just what looks like uh, crafts or structures in the, in, the, in the background. This is like a whole darn city or a section of, right? I also got a surprise for you. You're going to like this. So let's just jump right in. And we're going to do a recap. Now, not of the whole photo that we had here. This is the whole photo, but we actually do right around this section right here. We don't do the whole left, at least not yet. I want to show you this because there's things in here that I really didn't take a look at until recently. And I'll explain it a little bit. So here's the video that I had done. Solid evidence, a whole city on Mars. So when I saw this and started to get more and more into this, and I was actually doing some, you know, viewing on Facebook. I was looking at that and I saw something pretty interesting. And again, we'll get to that. So let's jump right into Photoshop and take a better look. Okay, so here it is. And you can see this was done right here. You can see the structures, vegetation, trees, so on and so forth. And when you back out, it truly does look like that, right? Unfortunately, it's a lot of color to mess up the eyes. Unfortunately, it's a lot of censoring. Now, again, this is the absolute best path. Roads on Mars must see evidence for life on Mars. And this was done by UFO Evidence 101 or 1. I forget which one it is. And you folks, anybody who's not familiar with it or has not seen this yet, I'm going to leave that uh, link in the comment section. Okay, so let's do a quick recap. Now, what I do is I got rid of the color and try to bring down the stuff that's super bright. And it's a little hard to do because it just leaves a weird characteristic on it. And you really can't make out any of these uh, details. Okay. So what I'm interested in and what we're really going to be uh, taking a look at is this right here. Above and below what looks like this roadway, we're going to be looking at mostly this area here and some other objects in here as well. Like perfect example, look at this, what looks like a structure right here. Looks like a, a block structure, meaning square, other objects. But again, most of this folks has been censored. Um, and it's just absolutely bizarre that they do this, but we're already aware of this, right? So let's get into the next one. So now you can see the colors. Now suddenly they turn blue. This again is because of this censoring and everything else. And this is what happens. You bring out weird colors out of a photo that should not be there. Okay. Again, we're going to be looking at this right here. I'm going to just zoom right into this. Mostly this section here. As stated earlier. And some of these other objects that are also here. And again, folks, pause this any way you want to and let your eyes settle into the photo. Don't just look at the photo. Remember, this is approximately about a mile off the surface, a little less than a mile off the surface uh, of Mars, right? So these are going to be very, very small structures. Right? Okay. Uh, again, check this out. We're starting to see these structures. Just take note of the different height of them, different shapes, so on and so forth, right? So... We can see plenty of other things in here, up here, in the upper left, and everywhere in between here. And what I mean by that is this whole section here, along the top of this road. Okay, crazy, crazy things. Next, this is where it gets really cool. Okay, now we're going to be looking at this area, all of this, okay, all up in here. Folks, this is absolutely awesome. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to get rid of these lines. And again, pause this any way you like. And folks, I just seen some crazy things in here. Just things that do not belong on a barren planet, a dead planet, right? At least that's what they claim. So when we see these things, these little objects, shapes and everything else in these roadways, it's just absolutely crazy. What well, looks like a little tower sitting right here. Well, it wouldn't be little, it'd be quite large. But notice these other objects is one. I'm going to point it at each one. Two, three. It's like they're all in the row underneath this roadway. Back up. Okay, we're going to brighten it up now. Zoom back into this. And again, we have to bring this out in different filters. Everything from black plate. So this is the raw photo or part of the photo. 
trying to get through this censoring, manipulation, call it what you will. And look at all the other little things inside underneath all of this manipulation. If you look at something like in this area itself, right here, if we zoom into that, notice there's like this fuzziness in the area of it. See it? This is trying to get through the overlay. That's what the problem is, okay? And that's what we have to deal with, unfortunately. But we can see some things in here that truly look intelligently made. Right? Now, here's the question. What if we can find a different angle of this? Ah, but we can. Check this out. Now, this to me screams intelligently made. Now, let me give due credit because this it's only fair. This person here calls uh, Atrox Lux, Atrox, depending on how you pronounce it. And they did this, and it's about a minute, a little over a minute. I think it's right here in this video, okay? Now, I don't know if they went and they seen the, the coordinates in mine and the lower right part of the photo on mine. It really doesn't matter. I'm glad that they did this. So, folks, you can even jump onto this channel. Make sure you sub to them. Check it out. They just started out, started doing some videos, and they're going to have more. And I think you're going to like this channel. Let me see what else they got here. They got a few of them on there. You can see this right here. Okay. So they're just starting out. Give them some love. So I always try to give people different avenues and different channels to check out, you know. And that's the way we like to roll, right? Okay. So now, again, we've got this photo. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get into this photo even more. We're going to really enhance it. Check this out. Okay, now this is where it gets really cool. This area I was talking about, right in here. Folks, this is absolutely neat. Check out this area now where we have this here. We've seen it from a different angle to where it's off on the left and a different angle. We were seeing it from this direction. Okay, now we're seeing it more of this direction. And you can see these objects, whatever they are, right here, here, here. And also look at these other objects here at the top. You can see what looks like towers, like this one. What looks like this ball-shaped object right here. And looks like a docker tower or something supporting it. Okay. Check that out. Let me remove the lines. And... Here's the thing. We actually got all the way to the left-hand side. And, of course, they pretty much cut it right off. But we tried to enhance it. Now, here's the thing people are going to be scratching their heads about. Right here. In between here, where's all those large structures, folks? Let me explain something. And many of you folks might have already seen this. There's an ultra-high-definition photo of the moon, okay? First time I saw it, I was blown away. And I was just like, wow, that is really cool. So I get the thing on there, and it loads on the screen, and I'm just zooming. Wow, this is great. Looking at the craters, sharp, really good clean detail. Zoomed in, zoomed in. How far can I zoom into this thing? So I zoomed in until I could see all of the stitch photos. In other words, squares. And I don't mean compression artifacts. I mean actual stitch photos that make up this very large photo of the moon. And I forget what there was. There was like thousands of these stitch photos put together. Here's the kicker. I could look at the crater, but until I got, until I went one more click on the mouse wheel, all of a sudden it broke them down all into those squares, right? If you looked at those squares, some of them were blurred out. In other words, they don't want you to see super clear whatever's right there in that area, so it was completely blurred out. You couldn't get that close into that crater or near it, and they censored it out. So it does not surprise me if you were to change the angle of this particular photo, they're going to hide what they can, Okay. So I didn't even bother to do any of this here in the middle of this. I don't care. What I cared about, because we already done this in the last video, right? What I care about is what's on these what so-called roadways and anything beyond, folks. Okay? Perfect example. Let's zoom into this. What is this way in the background with this shadow? You guys see this? Right here. Right here in the back. It's got a shadow under it. It's very large, whatever that thing is, right? Back out. Because I don't want to have this too. Because we can do this again. We can go like this if we want to. Oh, yeah, look at that structure. Yeah, no. But again, notice that fuzz in there, right? 
But here's what's crazy. Let's have a look. Notice these other structures. And there's plenty of them, folks. Look at all in the background here. Again, let your eyes settle into the photo. Objects here. We can keep going. Again, just this cluster right here alone. Look at the towers standing up. There's structures. Okay. Again, these white objects or these white areas, I should say, right here. All of that in that area is what? Completely whited out. There's a reason for doing this, folks. There's an absolute reason for doing this. This part here. This is just cool. We're going to go down to this area here. Check this out. What, what does this? I'm not sure if this is a hole and it goes down deep into the ground. And I, I really can't make out, but it looks like some of these weird structures in here as well, especially right down here in the bottom right of that whited area. Looks like you can see what looks like these two lines coming down. And then it does this across and keeps going into the back. I don't know what that is, but it's crazy. But it's just cool looking, right? Here. When we get into this, we have this rounded area. Okay. Of course, this is freehand, so, and it's not going to be too round. Here, what looks like something like rectangular. But, folks, again, it's hard to see these things because a lot of this is whited out, and it's purposely done that way. When you try to break it down, this is what you end up with. This weird side effect of the censoring because you're trying to bring it down too much. It's a brighter area. You're just trying to bring it down. Let's back it up a little bit. And we're going to go in right here. This, this area alone just blows my mind. Just check out everything in the background. In fact, I'm going to leave it just like this. This is what I want you to have a look at more than anything. I'm just going to draw a line across the whole area. Right? Just this in the back. Now, there's plenty more, folks, all in the back here, up in the upper pots, all the way up here. Plenty to see. And there's plenty to see down below, down here, too. Okay, down in this bottom left and down, we're going to say south of the road, if you will. But just check out the objects. I'm going to go in a little bit further. Check these things out. Again, let your eyes settle into the photo. No way, no how is this natural occurring. It's not going to happen, 100%. And folks, since I've seen this from the other gentleman, UFO evidence, since then I've been blown away. Now I've seen many things on uh, Mars, on the surface itself, different rovers. We've seen all kinds of crazy stuff. But to see an entire city is amazing and incredibly cool. Now, some people say, well, I don't know. It, it looks like structures and, you know, I can't make up there like literally in one piece. Now, one, we don't know how they built. Two, we don't know if this is absolutely damaged from the cataclysmic event that they had, these large nuclear explosions, the water that probably washed over the surface of Mars, so on and so forth. We don't know. So some of them are standing. Some of them may not be. And folks, just in this area alone, we can still see things that are standing, right? You can see that. But the whole area inside here is incredible. I stopped and I looked at this thing. I just took my time. Let my eyes settle, get out my magnifying glass, and I'm just blown away. Absolutely cool. Objects like this. You can see part of it is brighter white at the top. And on the bottom of it, where it's complete, where it looks like it's a round circle in the front here. Right there. That below that, is, it's actually a section of it. In other words, the whole object is there, right? They decided to go like this. And completely cut that off. It was completely black. But I believe this leads into one big road. And onward it goes, right? I'm going to leave this like this. And again, this was the original. I showed this to a couple people, folks. I said, hey, let me let me show you this picture. It's black and white. What do you think? My buddy goes, city. I went, what, what tells you that? Well, they look like roadways. In my opinion... This is absolutely intelligently made, and I 100% stand by that. You folks tell me what you think, too. Hey, folks, if you like what you're seeing and you want to support the channel, you can always go to the Thanks button under any video, or you can go back to the homepage right there in the banner in the lower right corner. There's a PayPal Donate button. 
Thank you very much for supporting the channel, and let's get back to the content. To me, 100%, when I seen this video very beginning, like I said, it was like uh, 2008, 2010, this other gentleman had showed this on his channel. To me, it just screams intelligently made. I've said this a million times. All right, so folks, if I was to walk up to you personally and show you this, didn't tell you if it was Earth, Mars, or whatever, and I showed you that other photo, and I'll just show it to you again, right here, what would be your initial answer? To me, if somebody said, what do you think this is? I'd go, roadways. There's no way you can say otherwise. Now, is it possible, and I highly doubt this, is it just naturally occurring? I don't think so. That's just my personal opinion, right? You folks tell me what you've seen. Drop your comments down below. I'm always interested to hear what you guys have got to say. Please like and share the video. is always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And I do have more videos coming. You won't have to wait this long. I promise. Just having some issues with the computer. I just picked up something on the cheap just for now so we can get by a little bit more. Haven't hooked it up yet, so we're going to be doing that as well. Stay tuned. You're going to like what we're going to show you. Until then, peace.